Pakistan's Balochistan province. At least 10 people have been killed in a blast near a mosque in Mastung district, while more than 40 people are reportedly injured. A deputy superintendent of police has died in the blast. Authorities fear that the death toll might further increase. This is the second major explosion in the district in around two weeks' time and happened when people were gathering to mark Eid Miladun Nabi. Emergency has been declared in hospitals and hospital staff has been instructed to reach immediately. So these are the latest visuals that we are bringing you live from Balochistan. While more than 40 people at this point are reportedly injured. For our viewers who are just joining in, these visuals that you see on your screen are coming from Pakistan's Balochistan province, where at least 10 people have been killed in a blast near a mosque in Mastung district. More than 40 people are reportedly injured. A deputy superintendent of police has died in the blast. The authorities also fear that the death toll might further increase. Now, this is the second major explosion in the district in around two weeks' time. And it happened when people were gathering to mark Eid. Now, emergency has been declared in hospitals and hospital staff has been instructed to reach immediately. And now let's go straight to our correspondent, Anas, who's joining us live. Um, Anas, um, tell us about the situation at the moment and what is the latest that you can tell us about this blast and its aftermath? Well, Aditi, what we know so far is that this was a procession uh, that was in its initial phases of gathering people near the market near Alfla Mosque uh, in Mastung in Balochistan. Uh, and uh, uh, this is where the blast has taken place. It is presumed uh, to be a car VBIG or a suicide bombing as, a, uh, as per officials. With that being said, uh, an emergency has been declared in the hospitals. At least 10 people are confirmed dead as per the interim caretaker uh, information minister, the provincial information minister, John Achakzai. He said that uh, he's feared that the death toll can increase as well. Now, as you are speaking to me, uh, just right now, the tehreek e taliban Pakistan, the band group, has issued a statement distancing itself from this bombing. Uh, they say that they have nothing to do with it. Bear me uh, on this because it's in Urdu, so I'll be translating it in real time. They say that uh, the Tariq Taliban has issued a statement saying that they do not have anything to do with the Mastung bombing today that took place on a Friday in the province of Balochistan on a procession uh, in which uh, uh, in which reportedly dozens of people are injured and killed. Uh, the tariq -e taliban Pakistan has nothing to do with uh, this and that uh, they want to make it clear that they do not attack public places, neither it is, they, it is part of their policy. This is what the TTP has said. Now, it is pertinent to mention that in 2018, a similar incident had taken place, but that was during an election campaign. At that point of time, 35 people had lost their lives, and uh, that blast was claimed by the ISIS or Daesh. Uh, it is interesting to know, because if I just give you some history or context of the area, in 2017, uh, there was a major operation against ISIS or Daesh, uh, in this particular Bastung uh, district uh, and the then DGISPR had said that they had discovered a 17 kilometer long cave. Uh, this was following the killing of two Chinese nationals back in 2017. So ISIS con concentration in the area has been there. It has been rapid but as you speak there has been no claims on who has carried out this heinous act of terror. Uh, at least one official 
has been confirmed dead. He is DSP, the Deputy Superintendent of the Police of Mastung, uh, Mohammad Nawaz Gishkori it's, it is his name. Uh, that's what has been confirmed by rescue officials. Uh, a helicopter has been sent from Quetta uh, and rescue officials have also been sent from Quetta uh, to look after those who are injured uh, in this blast. People are said to be critically injured. Unnamed number is said to be critically injured with the death toll expected to go higher as the time races by. All right.